Honestly, one of my favorite superheroes is Spider-Man. I'm practically as old as Spider-Man. I was born in August of 1961, and Spider-Man was created in August of 1962. The Flash is instantly better. He's my favorite superhero ever. Back in the day, I remember buying Flash comics for 10 cents at this corner store I used to go to every morning for donuts and ice cream. Those superheroes are fake news. Batman is the only real true superhero out there. Bruce Wayne is a hardworking man and also a billionaire, like me. Yeah, Bruce Wayne inherited his money from his father, just like you, so you and him are nothing special. Yeah, I bet Thomas Wayne gave Bruce a small loan of a million dollars to him. But my favorite superhero is Superman. I remember reading those Superman comics back when I still had my lucky cowboy hat. Ah, those were the days, man. I'm basically a modern-day Bruce Wayne with all the billions I have in my bank account. I even have a Batman suit I made that I sometimes fight crime with. No way your fat ass could fit in a Batman suit. Stop capping Don. I have a Flash suit, and I put it on time and time again running away from all my ops. Shut your ass up, Joey. You don't have any ops, nigga. He probably does now, ever since he's been hanging around Kermit. I'm making sure the FBI is on you and Kermit's ass because Kermit needs to be locked up and put into prison. Hey, leave Kermit Wormy alone. Let Kermit and I go on our adventures. I'd be wearing the flash suit when him and I hang out, and sometimes we even travel back in time. Ah, uh, hell, so now you're screwing with the timeline too, just like George Washington? This is not good, Joey. You can't be doing this. When I put on that flash suit, I turn into somebody that I've always dreamed of. I even went back in time and met myself and gave him the suit too. Stop fooling around, Sleepy Joe. No wonder why you have dementia. Probably from all the time traveling you're doing in the flash suit, forgetting what's really even happening and forgetting your god-awful speeches. I mean, Donnie really does have a point for oh real. Oh my god. No wonder why I forget things. I should really stop using that suit then. Anyway, speaking less about The Flash, did you guys see the new Spider-Verse movie that just came out? Oh yeah, I loved it a lot. Miles Morales is such a dope Spider-Man. Yeah, I watched Across the Spider-Verse, but I liked the first one more. Both movies are garbage, since they're just stupid cartoons. Who wants to go to a movie theater and sit there eating popcorn and McDonald's for two hours watching a damn cartoon? You actually don't know what a good movie is. Get out of here with your nonsense, Donald. And why the hell do you bring McDonald's to a movie theater? Who does that? Zip it, Towers, or else I'll tell Laura you're eating more ding-dongs. Uh, but Miles Morales is fake news and a fraud. He's not a good Spider-Man and shouldn't even be a Spider-Man. Hey, hop off my nigga Miles and on a fucking treadmill. Miles is actually a great Spider-Man, and those movies did his character justice. Honestly, I think Miles needs more credit than what he deserves. And those Spider-Verse movies look amazing visually. Oh yeah, that's my favorite part about Into the Spider-Verse. But even though it's a great movie, the original Spider-Man trilogy is still and always will be the best. Oh yeah, 100%. Tobey Maguire is unmatched and the best Spider-Man. I don't know about that one, honestly. I like Andrew Garfield in the Amazing Spider-Man movies a lot more. Your taste in movies is just as bad as your taste in policies. A never-ending reel of disastrous decisions. Hey, leave me alone. I actually don't mind Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man movies all too much, but since we're on the topic of Spider-Man, we should talk about and rank every single Spider-Man movie. That's a W idea, right? Right there, W. Ah, the nostalgia with all these movies. I don't mind the first two Spider-Man movies, but everything after that was a disaster. The first Spider-Man movie is a cinematic masterpiece. Wait, wait, who just messaged the Discord? Is that actually Tobey Maguire? Bruh, since when did Spider-Man join our Discord? Wait, he's in the VC below us with Queen Elizabeth, what the hell? And now we have the worst Spider-Man in our Discord too? Hey, leave Andrew alone. Andrew is actually an amazing Spider-Man, no pun intended. You could drink some codeine cough syrup, mix it with Sprite. Hey, that's what Kermit and I do. You guys should definitely try it. Who even invited them to our server? Honestly, I'm not surprised at this point with whoever pops up in here. It's, it's just another day in the office. Anyways, where were we at, boys? Oh yeah, the first Spider-Man movie. This movie is phenomenal, especially with the Green Goblin being the villain. Yeah, Willem Dafoe as, as the Green Goblin was a perfect casting choice. Spider-Man 1 is an instant hood classic and kickstarted all of the Spider-Man movies we see today. Norman is a very troubled man. He's an insane, no good psychopath. You know how much I sacrifice? Get out of here, Norman, before I kick you out myself. Out, am I? Oh my gosh, it's the Green Goblin. Norman, please put Donald in his place, man. It's about time. Holy crap, since when did the Green Goblin join our Discord? I'm not the Goblin. You guys have no idea what you're talking about. We aren't dumb like you. Stop messing around because we've seen the movies. So make like a tree, you maniac, and get out of here! You're a load of shit, Donald. 40,000 years of evolution, and it seems like you've barely even tapped the vastness of human potential with your dumbass. Damn, is that Norman talking or the goblin? I think it's still Norman because... <laughs>
Oh my God, who is that? I'm, I'm scared. Oh my God, oh my God. Holy crap, now it's the Green Goblin. What a load of crap. That laugh isn't even scary. Norman can't do shit in here to us. Watch it, you spray tanned fool. I'll hop on my glider and fly to your house right now. But in spite of everything you've done for people, eventually they'll hate you. Damn, that's deep, bro. People already hate him. Guys, I don't want to do this tier list anymore. Please, please, I'm scared of the Green Goblin. Please. Oh, don't be scared of me, Joey. Don't worry, I'll take it nice and slow. Hey everyone, sorry I'm late. It's a jungle out there. I had to beat an old lady with a stick to get these cranberries. Wait, is that Norman Osborn in here? Ah, shit, here we go again. Oh my god, it's the human spider. You got my name wrong, you moron. It's actually an honor to meet you, Mr. McGuire. Yo, yo, howdy there, Toby. What's up, partner? What's good, Toby? How's life after being Spider-Man? You sure you want to know? The story of my life is not for the faint of heart. If somebody said it was a happy little tale, if somebody told you I was just an average ordinary guy, not a care in the world, somebody lied. But let me assure you, it's not too exciting. And the only exciting thing is that I get to live rent-free from all the money I've made being Spider-Man. Rent? Did someone say rent? Oh, please, not this shit again. Who the hell is this guy? You have rent for me too, Mr. Goblin. I need rent. No way, it's the rent guy from Spider-Man 2 and 3. I'm a big fan. He has a name, you know, George. Mr. Ditkovich. Sounds like a loser to me. Oh, I know you have rent for me, Mr. Trump. Plenty and plenty of rent with your billions. Give me rent. I have rent for you, Mr. Ditkovich. Should I write it in a check or cash? Rent? Yes, please. Give it to me all in cash, Mr. Biden. Stop it, Joey. Don't provoke him. But please, just leave me alone, Mr. Ditkovich. I'm short on rent right now. This is a free country, not rent-free country. So give me rent. Leave me alone. Please, just leave me alone. Give me rent. You'll get your rent when you fix this damn door! Jesus Christ, Spider-Man. That's not the Spider-Man I know. Spider-Man? Where? Where is he? He may owe me rent, too. Damn, you gotta fix his door, Mr. Ditkovich. And this is Spider-Man no more. But Bully McGuire now... Stop being a bully to him, Mr. McGuire. Hey, fuck you, Joe. Hey! Wait! Peter Parker is Spider-Man. So you're telling me that Spider-Man owes me rent. Give me that suit of yours and we'll be even. No more rent. Give me suit. This guy's annoying me. I'm about to throw some pumpkin bombs at your apartment building so nobody will ever pay this fool rent. Are you talking again? You're embarrassing yourself, Gobby. And fuck off out of here, Mr. Ditkovich. You're not getting my suit or any rent. Hey, fuck you too, mister. I'm knocking down that shitty door of yours to grab rent right now. You need to chill out, Toby. This isn't you, man. It's the black suit. Did I ask Towers? Oh, fuck you. Hey, don't be disrespectful in here, Toby. I'm the only one that can disrespect around here, you nerd. And you're the only straight bitch in here out of everybody, you deformed Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Good one. But man, what did I get myself into coming to Discord today? If you don't leave Bully McGuire and return to Peter, then we'll ban you oh, from no, the I'm server scared. and I'll send Kermit the Frog to jump you. You really think a frog will do shit to me? You know who you're talking to, chump? Not gonna lie, Peter. I've fought you a few times and got annoyed when you beat me, but those times don't compare to right now with you acting like a child. Keep up that act, and I'll put Mary Jane on top of a bridge again. You know what? Get my wife's name out of your damn mouth. Whatever. Just this one time only, I'll snap out of it, fucking losers, man. Hey, what's up, guys? How's the weather today? Bro, what? A lot of raindrops mm -hmm. kept falling on my head earlier, but it was nice. He's more two-faced than me, and you think I'm the psychopath, Donald. Yeah, okay. Whatever, I don't care. We haven't even ranked the first spot. Spider-Man movie yet, you buffoons? Let's get straight to ranking. I remember when I got the role of Spider-Man, I had a blast playing the character, and I didn't expect it to be as impactful as it is today. That's why I commend your service playing as Spider-Man. George, come on, he didn't fight in World War II, he just played in a movie, bro. Actually, as Spider-Man, I did fight in World War II, so get your facts straight. Damn, I didn't know that. That must have been crazy. Oh, yeah, but anyway, Spider-Man 1 is a god-tier oh, movie. Oh, 100%. If you guys don't put this movie in the god-tier, then I'll fly over to your mansion, and there won't be any mansion left after I leave. <laughs> Chill out, Gobby. Why can't you be like me, a superhero scientist nerd? You know, I'm something of a scientist myself. Oh my god, he said More it. like a mad scientist. Hey, Donald, let's not get on Norman's bad side, all right? Next up, we have Spider-Man 2. When we were filming this back in 2003, this was when I started having back problems, and it affected my days on the set. You actually have back problems in real life just like me? I thought that was only a Peter Parker thing. Well, it's also a Tobey Maguire thing, too. Sam Raimi is a brilliant director, and I love how he made jokes about you having back injuries in Spider-Man 2. Yeah, it was funny, but man, that shit hurted when I injured my back, back. filming for Sea Biscuit. The hell is a Sea Biscuit? Oh, Sea Biscuit. That one movie you played in. Anyways, I definitely liked you more in Spider-Man 2. Just as a whole, it was even better than the first Spider-Man. Peter was pathetic in that movie. The movie was garbage because I wasn't in it. Peter should have joined forces with me in the first movie, and I would still be alive. You made a good choice 
choice not joining your psycho ass. I'm going to ask you again, Peter. Are you in or are you out? Uh, it's you who's out, Gobby. Out of your mind. Wrong answer. Oh, great. No one says no to no. me. No, no, shut up. Less bickering and more ranking. All the action scenes in Spider-Man 2 were insanely good, and a lot of the CGI still holds up still in 2023. Oh, and Aunt May is also a baddie. Hey, Peter, can you give me Aunt May's number by any chance? Bro, what? Get out of here before Bully Maguire comes out and puts you to sleep forever. Oh, oh my bad. I'm sorry. Oh, I'll go and grab Aunt May for you. Goblin, I'm only saying this once. Leave Aunt May's name out of your mouth before I web up your misery. ass. Misery. Misery, misery is what you've chosen. I offer you friendship, but you spat in my face. I'll spit in your face, too, if I had the chance. This doesn't involve you fat ass, Peter. I've been like a father to you. Be a son to me now. I have a father. His name was Ben Parker. But wasn't that your uncle? You're dumb Joe. Look at you forgetting what happened in Spider-Man 1. Uncle Ben was more of a father to Peter than his actual father because his dad wasn't there for him just like my dad. Damn, that has to suck, partner. My father was president, so I don't know what it's like. This is why fools are always heroes, because you never know when some lunatic will come along with a sadistic choice. This is why being a hero is great. You get all the shoddies. Uh, with great power comes... Great responsibility. Uh, I was going to say the bitches, but if you want to be a virgin the rest of your life, then... No, Peter, come on, bro. Uh, what, Mr. Obama? With great power comes the bad bitches. Come on now. We are who we choose to be. Let him get his bitches so I can steal all of them and fly them on top of bridges. You're a no good sicko, Norman. Thank God you weren't in Spider-Man 2. This was the last good Spider-Man movie since everything after this was an abomination. Donald again with another trash opinion. But anyways, my three favorite things about Spider-Man 2 was Spider-Man's new suit. Doc Ock and J.J. Jonah Jameson. His new suit? It's a cute outfit. Did your husband give it to you, Peter? <laughs> yes, yes, he did, actually. Nah, I'm just fucking with you, huh? Jameson was hilarious in this movie. Do you guys remember the deleted scene of him wearing the Spider-Man suit? It cracks me up every time, ha-ha. <laughs> Hey, why don't you shut the fuck up, Sleepy Joe, before I throw this cigar at your face? Oh my god, it's J.J. Jonah Jameson. How'd you find me in here, Jameson? Jameson, you slime. Who's the photographer who takes the pictures of Spider-Man? I don't know who he is. His stuff comes in the mail. You're lying. It's actually Peter Parker. Hey, shh. Shut it. Will you, Joe? I swear. He's the one who can bring me to him. I don't know who he is. You are useless. And even though J.J. can get on my nerves, leave him alone, Gobby. Spider-Man! I knew you two were in this together! <sighs> hey, kiddo. Let mom and dad talk for a minute, will you? Hey, kiddo, why don't you let your master talk for a minute, will you? Shut your fat ass up. You're not no master. Only thing you're a master of is McDonald's. Donald Trump is a menace, just like Spider-Man. Spider-Man needs to be captured by the FBI and locked up in prison for arson on the city of New York. Spider-Man wasn't attacking the city, you dimwit. He was trying to save it. All you say is slander against him. It is not. I resent that. Slander is spoken. In print, it's libel. I mean, Jonah does really have a point. My bad for coming at you, bro. No, he doesn't, Norman. You don't trust anybody. That's your problem, Jameson. I trust my barber. What are you, his lawyer? Get out of here. Let him sue me. Get rich like a normal person. That's what made this country... Great again. I made this country great again, unlike you, Mr. Jameson, who's nothing but a loud mouth shit talker look who's talking you cry baby bitch you're crap crap and mega crap just like spider-man wait who's spider-man he's a criminal that's who he is a vigilante a public menace why don't you shut your mouth jj i'm about to web up your mouth if you keep yabbing what the hell you're spider-man robbie make that our story for today mask menace unmasked on page one in hoffman get a picture of peter parker and slap his face on the front cover go whip fly up up and away whip shazam go go uh, go what are you whip, trying go. to do he's trying to shoot his web out like that one scene from spider-man one shit it's not working i think i'm having another midlife crisis again boys i'll throw some pumpkin bombs at you to make it worse anyways can you pay me in advance jameson <laughs> what why are you laughing <laughs> You serious? Uh, yeah, I'm serious. I need rent for Mr. Dickovich. I missed the part where that's my problem, but tell you for what? Being here in Discord just standing around? Meat. I'll send you a nice box of Christmas meat. You know, you are the worst boss I've ever had the displeasure of working for, especially since you wore my suit without my permission. Hey, I would have worn it too, you know. Of course you would, you old fart. You're a thief! You stole that suit from me. You're a menace to the entire city. I want your creepy wall crawling arachnid ass prosecuted and strung up by your own web. I missed the part where that's my problem. Uh, and I missed the part where you're a straight up bit. See you, chump. Ah, hell, Bully Maguire's back again. Yeah, that's enough discord tonight for me, boys. Godspeed, Spider-Man, and all oh, Godspeed presidents. Please come back to Peter Parker. I don't want to get bullied again. Please. Whatever. At this point, just let him be. If he says one smart Alec thing in my VC, then he's out of here. Are you going to say something, Peter? Hello, you there, man? Are you gonna say something, Peter? Hello, you there, man? <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up, Obunga. Nigga, what? Stop acting like this. You've changed. You shirk your chores. You have all those weird experiments in your room and you start fights at school. 
What is all that about? I didn't start that fight. I told you that, Sleepy Joe. You sure as hell finished what it. What was I supposed to do? Run away from all my problems like Donald Trump over hey. here? No, no, Peter. With great power comes great responsibility. What the hell? Who do you think you are? You're not Uncle Ben. Yeah, I'm Uncle okay, Joey. Okay, enough of this. We're not anywhere near being done with this tier list. Uh, Donnie does have a point. Let's just talk about some of our favorite scenes from Spider-Man 2. The very first scene was hilarious with Spider-Man delivering pizza. It was a great way to open the movie up. Pizza time. Did somebody say pizza time? The hospital scene with Doc Ock was shot incredibly well and Mr. Raimi captured the horror aspect of that scene really well. Kudos to him. That scene was too scary. Stop, stop, Donald. I had to throw a blankie over my head every time that scene came on. You know what's even scarier? Me in the same VC as you, Joe. I'm going to peel the flesh off your bones. Hey, leave me alone. Oh, why don't you get out of here, will ya? We're trying to do a damn tier list. The hell is a tier list? And Parker, what are you doing here? We're ranking every Spider-Man movie, so either you talk about these movies or you get out. Yeah, exactly, but I'm a big fan, Mr. Otto Octavius. How are you? I'm good, Mr. Bush. Thanks for asking, but I only came in here to ask, has anybody lost a large roll of $20 bills in a rubber band? because we found the rubber band. That's a terrible joke. You're not funny, you slimy octopus. I should have known Osborne wouldn't have the spine to finish you. You're brilliant, but lazy. And you're intelligent, but a dumbass at the same time. How does that feel, Mr. Calamari? Anyways, gents, before y'all niggas fight, final thoughts on Spider-Man 2? It's the best comic book movie to ever exist, especially when I attacked that train leaving Peter to clean it all up. And when I threw that car into the coffee shop, almost hitting Mary Jane and Parker. Yeah, you're a lunatic and a hooligan for doing all that. Especially the stunt you pulled at the hospital, too. Yeah, man, why you gotta do those doctors like that? They were only trying to help you. It was the arms doing all of that, not me. Having the power of the sun in the palm of my hands really messed up everything all right. And you messed up my life even more when I was trying to chill. I was going through a midlife crisis for crying out loud. I lost Mary Jane for a moment to some dumbass astronaut who played foot ball on the moon. My best friend Harry thought I killed his father. I lost my powers throwing my suit away in the trash and my damn door never got fixed. Well, I apologize to tell you this, but I missed the part where that's my problem. What happened to Dr. Octopus? I disconnected that Squidward built ass chump. Fair enough. But anyways, Spider-Man 2 is a God tier movie, even though Peter was really going through it throughout the whole movie. It's what made the story and movie great as a whole. But Spider-Man 3, on the other hand, is something else. Spider-Man 3 is, is the definition of an atrocity. Everything about that movie was God awful especially Bully Maguire's disgusting dance moves. Hey, take that back. They paid me more to do those ridiculous dance moves and it was well worth you it. You gotta teach me how to dance like that so I can impress Aunt May. Oh, quit it, Joey. Aunt May doesn't want you, bro. But the movie could have been good. It's just that it was at fault with its terrible writing. Some things in the movie just didn't make sense and happened purely for plot reasons. Yeah, like that one scene in the beginning where the symbiote so happens to fall from the sky down to where Peter is. Like, there's no context behind that. You do have a point. That shit was very random, and out of all the people that could have been at the park during that night, it chose me. Venom and Sandman teaming up at the very end of the movie felt so last minute and rushed just to make the plot make sense. And Sandman is a boring character. I just feel like having Sandman, the new Goblin, and Venom all in one movie wasn't a good idea. Didn't the studio executives force Sam Raimi to put Venom in the movie? Yeah, they made him put Venom in the movie against his will so they could sell more action figures. So Venom was a rush character purely made for more toys. Hey man, no it wasn't. Take that back. Oh my god, it's Venom. Venom, I'm a big fan. I thought you were dead, Eddie. Well, it's the Discord multiverse, so expect the unexpected out here since Tom Holland's Peter Parker in No Way Home messed up the timeline with his spell. Good thing he did because I'm alive again, but... Good morning. It's a beautiful day, huh? Oh, what's that smell? That's a little something called nice and easy. What's on you? It's called go away. Oh, my spider sense is tingling. If you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> You're so corny, bro. Jesus Christ, Eddie. Yeah, please don't say that ever again. I'm not a fan anymore. Tom Hardy's venom is way better. Tom Hardy's a chill guy, so I respect your opinion, Mr. Biden. But what was it you said, Peter, that I'll never get that picture of Spider-Man in the act? It's funny you should say that because I was looking through some old photos I took and it looks very, uh... Similar. Try to come back from that one, Eddie. You're a fraud. Yeah, look who's talking Hair Force One. Haha, <laughs> well, I gotta get back to work. You're trash, Brock. Yeah, you're trash, Brock. Uh, excuse me. Your picture is a fake. Yeah, your picture is a fake. What he said. Oh, Parker, you're such a Boy Scout. When are you gonna give a guy a break? You want forgiveness? Get religion. I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye. Ooh, hot damn. Please zip it, Parker. I can't lose everything. There's not a paper in town that will hire me. I missed the part where that's my problem. You know what, spider bitch? You made me lose my girl, now I'm gonna make you lose yours. How's that sound, Tiger? You know what, Eddie? You took my black suit away from me, now I'm gonna make you lose it and take it back. Oh God, please no. Give it back to- See it, chump. Well, 
I didn't expect that. And I didn't expect us to stall this stupid tier list. Yeah, same, but it's been pretty fun meeting some of my favorite Spider-Man characters. I agree, Joey, but let's finish off talking about Spider-Man 3 so we can move on. Oh, yeah. Let's talk about how Harry's stupid ass knocked me off my scooter when I was vibing. I just was trying to get back home, and this fool snatched me, threw me through a glass window, and made me almost lose Aunt May's ring. Yeah, that was kind of messed up, but not as messed up when you knocked Mary Jane down. I'm telling you, bro, that black suit is no good. I know I shouldn't have done that, but... Come on, this black suit is badass. Or when you kissed Gwen Stacy when you received the key of the city and Mary Jane watched. You're a savage for that, Peter. Shit, I want to win key of the city, too. Peter was doing that without the black suit, too. I think Jameson was right. Spider-Man really is a menace. I ain't no menace, fatty. I'm a hero. But the only thing I'm a menace with is stealing Mary Jane from Harry and beating his goblin wannabe ass. Yeah, you want to say that to my face again now that I'm here? Bro, why is the whole cast of Spider-Man just joining our server all of a sudden? Harry, I need to talk to you. I can explain. Tell it to my father. Raise him from the dead. Oh, goddamn, partner. I'm your friend, Harry. I cared about your father. He was just in Discord with us a few minutes ago. Yeah, he was. So leave Peter alone. Stop capping, Sleepy Joe and Peter. My father doesn't know what Discord is. I can vouch for your insane father too, Harry. He was just here. Shut up, you mango. I swear on my father's grave. Spider-Man will pay. Listen to me. I didn't kill your father. He was trying to kill me. He killed himself. You know it pisses me off with your loyalty to Spider-Man and not to your best friend. I find him with my father's body and you defend him because he's your bread and butter. I'm about to go get it Mary Jane again right now. Hey, take it easy, little gobby junior. You're not getting anywhere near Mary Jane again because she doesn't know what you are. She knows me very well. And when she kissed me, it was just like she used to kiss me. That taste. Strawberries. You better shut your mouth right now. Hold on, let's take a step back for a moment. What the hell was that clip of Harry disappearing? Where the hell did Harry go? There's no way he disappeared that fast. Uh, maybe Harry ducked down and laid on the ground for a few minutes until Peter was gone. Even that nigga in the background was like, why the hell is bro on the ground? Shit, I would react the same way as bro. Another reason why Spider-Man 3 is terrible, that scene makes no sense. Someone in the comments, please explain that to me. I got up from the chair and laid on the ground as fast as I can laughing with a full mouth of apple pie. Jesus, Trump, don't take it so seriously. But Peter, don't act like my friend. You stole MJ from me. You stole my father's love. Then you let him die because you didn't turn in the wall crawling freak. Isn't that right? Damn, nigga really got bitch slapped by Goblin Jr. Why are you bullying Spider-Man? Stop! Are you really gonna take that from him, Bully Maguire? You know what? You were an embarrassment to your father. I was more of a son to him than you will ever be. You better stop talking right now. Before I- I'm glad Venom killed you with your own glider. Like father, like son. Ha -ha. No, no, take that back right now! Oh, look at little Goblin Jr. Gonna cry? Who just typed in general chat? Hey boys, can you fellas- Drag me in the VC. Wait, that's my homie, Bernard. What the hell? How do you know Bernard? He's my father and I's butler, but hey, Obama, drag him in, will ya? Wait, how does he even know how to use Discord? Oh, whatever. But make it quick, please. Hello, gentlemen. First of all, listen to my friend Joey and stop the bullying. Bernard, what are you doing here? Oh, great. Now we have two ancient fossils in my server. Hey, hey shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up, Donald Trump. Jesus, Bernard. But anyways, if I may, sir. Harry, I've seen things in this house I've never spoken of. What are you trying to tell me? The night your father died, I cleaned his wound. The blade that pierced his body, it came from his glider. I know you're trying to defend your father's honor, but there's no question that he died by his own hand. You are so fired. Wait, You've known what? that all this time, and you pick now to tell me for the sake of the plot. If you told me this the night he died, then none of this would have ever happened. I thought this would be the best time to tell you the truth, my bad OG. I took a grenade to the face, dude. You know what? Good night, Bernard. Now that they're gone, I'm putting Spider-Man 3 into the mid-tier. Now let's move on to the Amazing Spider-Man movies with Andrew Garfield. But before we move on, if you guys are enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe for more Discord multiverse content like this. Multi what? Yeah, I didn't know the multiverse was a thing either until Tom Holland jacked up the timeline and brought me into his bummy-ass universe. Anyways, doesn't the amazing Spider-Man have a different actor instead of Bully Maguire? Yeah, they casted Andrew Garfield, but he's not half bad as Spider-Man, but the movies are pretty mid, though. Not gonna lie. I don't mind the first amazing Spider-Man. It's just that some story points and scenes didn't feel as genuine or new as the original since a lot of it was inspired by the original Spider-Man movie. I can agree with you on that, George. Also, the, the new Uncle Ben and Aunt May don't feel like anything too special. You don't feel attached to them compared to the originals either. The suit in that movie is horrendous. 
How can you make a suit look this damn ugly? Hey, I worked hard on that suit all right. It took a lot of time and money to make it. At least I made a better suit in my second movie. Oh, great. Now we have two Peters to deal with. It's been a fat minute since I've talked to you. Yeah, it, it has been and looks like you have a new suit. How'd you get that black suit? Oh my gosh, it's Andrew Garfield. I'm a huge fan of yours. Wait, wait, there's two Spider-Mans? Joey's dementia kicking in once more again, but oh, yo, what's up, other Peter Parker? Hey, hey, how's everybody doing? What are you guys up to? We're actually talking about all the Spider-Man movies we played in, and we're on your shitty movies right now. Um... Okay, hey, you know it's an honor to play Spider-Man because even as a kid, I was a fan of the character and I've always wanted to play as him. Batman is and always will be better. Spider-Man is fake news and a menace. You'll calm your horse's partner. Can we just finish ranking these movies? We still haven't ranked Andrew's movie yet. Ah, I remember shooting all my scenes for this movie. What a time to be alive. Anyways, it was a hassle to fight the lizard, honestly. He was crazy. I mean, he wanted to literally turn the whole city into lizards, for Christ's sake. Dr. Connors is more insane than Norman Osborn, but I gotta admit, it was kind of cool seeing the lizard as a villain. But it would have been better if it was the original Dr. Connors from Sam Raimi's movies. The amazing Spider-Man movies I played in were directed by a guy named Mark Webb. Haha, <laughs> how ironic. Because his name is- Yeah, we know. It's not funny. But, sorry to break it to you, Peter, but this movie just doesn't cut it compared to mine. Hey, give Andrew some credit, will you? He played his role really good, and his personality as Spider-Man was very different, and a nice change-up. Yeah, I can agree, and same with seeing Gwen instead of Mary Jane was also a, a nice change-up, but overall, it's nothing too, too special. I thank you guys for being honest, you know. I quite liked what they did with my backstory on this movie. It, it's, it was very different compared to other Peter's story, and also, I had web shooters, unlike Toby, which I'm still amazed at, by the way, like... How does that even work? Your backstory was so trash to the point where they didn't even make a third movie and please stop asking about how I shoot my webs. You've already mentioned it before, so shut it. Wait, what? What's up with you, man? Why are you so different today? Uh, back when we met in Peter One's world, you were a pretty chill guy, but now you're just some grumpy-ass middle-aged man. Oh no, it's the black suit Andrew. That's not him talking. The black suit changes him into a monster. And he needs to take it off since he's even more annoying. Hey, uh, how did you even get a black suit in the first place? It seems pretty cool. Was it from that alien you fought made out of black goo? Can you stop asking questions, chump? And can you stop being mean to other Spider-Man? I'm just gonna move on and put the amazing Spider-Man in the good tier for right now. But next up, we have an atrocity. Sorry, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, I know people don't rock with this movie, but you gotta admit that my swinging shots in this film were pretty damn sick. And pretty sick how you didn't even save Gwen from that fall. Isn't that right, Peter? All right, mate. You didn't have to go there. What did I ever do to you? You know, I think these presidents were right about that black suit. You should really take it off. Yeah, please, just get rid of it, Toby. I do whatever the hell I want. Now this movie is fucking ass. Electro is a trash villain. That tooth gap he has is ridiculous, and so is his look. Also, Rhino is a garbage villain and shouldn't have been in the movie and don't even get me started with the Green Goblin ripoff. All right, you know what? I can agree with you on all of that, actually, but it doesn't change the fact of you getting rid of the black suit. Electro is one corny-ass villain, and the ending boss fight was lame as hell. The only good thing about the movie was Andrew's new suit and the Times Square slow motion scene. Oh yeah, that was a 1000 IQ move right there, am I right? It was kind of cool how I did all of that. And it wasn't cool how you just didn't let Gwen go to college in England. If you would have just let her go, then she wouldn't have died. But instead, you let her go off your web, and she died. All right, man, I'm about to swing over there and beat your ass right now. Guys, guys, please stop. Just chill out, Toby, will ya? I don't want to see you guys fight. This is not how it should be when you guys are hanging out. I'm gonna keep my cool, all right, but if he says one more thing about Gwen, then I'm out of here. The Amazing Spider-Man 2 is a god-awful movie that shouldn't exist! That movie is worse than awful. It should be in its own tier for being a cinematic disaster. Hey man, it's not that bad. Come on now. But I guess if the movie had better writers and not so much going on with it, then maybe it could have been an amazing movie. No pun intended. You see, I like the whole universe it was trying to create with the Sinister Six, but they just didn't do it right. And they disrespected Willem Dafoe's Green Goblin with that stupid, funky, goofy-looking ass nigga. He looked like an elf that popped too many perks. Kind of like what Kermit and I do. Huh. Wait, are you talking about Kermit the Frog? Oh, please don't ask about that. You'll only provoke him more to hang out with that slimy toad. Oh, okay. But sadly, that's all the Spider-Man movies I have. Next up, we have a good friend of mine to talk about. Spider-Man Homecoming is an all right movie. It's nothing special. And again, my movies were miles better. Yeah, okay, we get it. Your movies will always be better, but come on, give Tom Holland some credit for portraying a brand new version of Peter Parker we've never seen before. Damn a little hostile there, huh, Mr. Bush? But yeah, exactly. 
I quite liked how he was more clumsy and funny. His suit was also really dope, in my opinion. Uh, Ned and the new MJ were good characters, and same with Aunt May. I didn't mind the whole cast, honestly. The cast is not too, too bad. I give it that. But the movie just doesn't take it too seriously like the other Spider-Man movies. Exactly. The stakes in my movies were higher and felt more real compared to the MCU Spider-Man. I think there's quite a nice balance between it all. Tom Holland's movies are supposed to be these quirky high school movies, you know? Yeah, I can see that. And the next set of Spider-Man movies are going to be more serious and grounded since he's going to be in college. For being different and doing great at being its own thing, I'm putting Spider-Man Homecoming into the goaded tier. Into the Spider-Verse is the next movie. And this is instantly trash since it's a stupid cartoon. Why is it bad if it's a cartoon? It's, it's actually a breath of fresh air and something different and pretty rad that the movie was made in that way. You have no idea what you're talking about. Your opinion shouldn't even be considered with the lack of competent working brain cells you have. This nigga. I'm not going to even listen to him. Did you say something? Did anyone hear anything? I think th there's a fly buzzing around in the VC. Come on, guys. We're almost done with this tier list. Into the Spider-Verse is a fantastic movie and was so cool. The art and animation style is something I've never seen before with an animated movie. And nowadays, people want to copy that style because of how successful it became. Oh, and don't forget about that memorable soundtrack. Needless to say, I keep her in check. She was a bad, bad, nevertheless. Calling it quits now, baby. I'm a wreck. Crash at my place, baby. You're a wreck. Hey, stop it. You're making my ears bleed. Please don't ever do that again. I think I'm going to need hearing aids after that. <laughs> what? Sunflower by Post Malone and Sway Lee is a dope ass song. Oh my God, I can't believe I just sung with Spider-Man. Man, I really like Andrew. He's such a chill guy, but I'm gonna put into the Spider-Verse into the God tier. I appreciate it, Mr. President, but now we have Spider-Man Far From Home to rank, and this is like a vacation comedy movie. Oh yeah. It's a very funny movie, and it was really cool seeing Mysterio as a villain. I wouldn't know what to do if I fought him. His illusions made the fight scenes very trippy. I would have beat Mysterio's ass if we made that fourth Spider-Man movie. He was actually supposed to be in the next movie from me, but it never happened. Wasn't Spider-Man the Night Monkey in this movie? Night Monkey? What kind of name is that? Oh yeah, the Night Monkey. That was a funny ongoing joke throughout the movie, and just as a whole, it's a pretty good movie. The movie is nothing special. Stop overhyping it, will ya? The final fight scene with the drones was lame as hell, and the drones created a plot hole because how did they cause damage when they're just purely holograms? I mean, you do have a point, I guess, but the movie isn't on Spider-Man. Three levels of terrible. So, come on now. Exactly, Peter. So quit talking. Why don't you? Okay, boys, cool it. I'm gonna put Spider-Man Far From Home into the goaded tier for now. Movie is trash, but okay, go off. Hey, uh, quick favor. Can you guys send a picture of the tier list into the general chat so I can see where you guys rank the other Spider-Man movies, please? Sure, bro, I got you. Hmm, uh, all right, all right, hmm, uh, this list isn't half bad, actually. I can agree with what you guys got so far. Wait, are you, uh, guys making a tier list without me? Oh my god, is that Spider-Man? Oh crap, I should have texted Peter one to join. I'm gonna tell him to join the VC right now. Why are you using British words? Uh, because my mother's British. I'm a British American, you know? Hey, everyone. Peter Parker. Yeah? yeah? Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, did you, sorry mean? did you mean? No, Peter. I mean Peter. Yeah, we're, we're all, all Peter. 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 Peter Parker. Again, we're all, Again, Peter, we're all Peter, Parker. Peter Parker. God damn, nigga. We have three Spider-Mans in the same Discord call. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. This is so yeah, cool. This is so cool. Hey, hey, Tom Holland, can you please talk Bully Maguire out of his black suit? How the bloody hell do you have a black suit? That seems sick, mate. Can you get me one too? Oh, no, trust me. You don't want one. The black suit consumes you just like how it's consuming Toby as we speak. Hey, why don't you shut your trap, Obunga? And no, this suit is mine, not yours. We need that black suit off of him now. Don't get your knickers in a twist, mate. Just take off the suit and put on your old one so we all have matching colors, yeah? Please, just listen to us this one time. But wait, if he has the black suit, does that mean he has the N-word pass? Of course I do, don't I, Obamna? The hell do you think? you are? You ain't no nigga, so you don't have the N-word pass nigga. Did I ask? Because quite frankly, I missed the part where that's my problem. Yeah, mate, you actually did ask, but you know, with the special gift we have, it's something that we can't just use for wickedness and selfishness. It's a gift, Peter. Not something that should be turned into a curse, and we have to be responsible with our gifts. You know, my aunt may once said to me, with great power comes great responsibility. There he ha -ha. is. Welcome back, mate. Finally, this fool is back. Welcome back, Mr. McGuire. Wait, wait, we have to make sure he's back. And you'll be left in the dust. Unless I stuck by you. You're the sunflower. I think your love would be too much. Or you'll be left in the dust. Unless I stuck by you. You're the sunflower. You're the sunflower. Yeah, he's definitely back. All right, all right, niggas. Enough singing. Now that he's back, let's finish this tier list. I don't think it's a question on where Spider-Man No Way Home is gonna go. Come on, we all know it's one of the best comic book movies to ever exist. All three of us are in it, and it was a blast suiting up again after seven long years, especially hanging out with them. No Way Home is top-notch and a brilliant movie. Andrew Garfield and Toby McGuire 
Maguire are proper chaps, but the only thing I didn't like is how MJ and Ned had to forget who I was at the end of the movie. I doubt that's going to still be the case, since I'm pretty sure she's going to be in the next Spider-Man movie anyways to make more money. I feel like people are switching up on this movie nowadays. Back when it first came out, it was praised so much, but now people think it's overhyped. I think it's because the movie had a lot of unnecessary CGI, especially on Toby's mask. Every scene in the film had some type of CGI without you even realizing it. But that's how it is nowadays. But I mean, then again, it was probably because this film was shot during the pandemic. Oh yeah, it was really tough to work on set since we all had to wear face masks still. It was a mess, honestly, and someone leaked a full 4K video of me in my costume. It was probably Tom, honestly. Hey, not this time. But we time, all it wasn't made me. it work, and the movie came out just in the nick of time. I can agree with George on the CGI. They really did my mask dirty, and they didn't even have Sandman and Lizards actors come in and shoot anything since they were just purely CGI. They reused scenes from Spider-Man 3 and The Amazing Spider-Man for those characters, and it was pretty lazy of them. If you expect disappointment, then you will never be disappointed. Hey, don't say that, mate. Aside from that, the references to the older Spider-Man movies were nostalgic, just overall. No Way Home paid a great homage to the previous Spider-Man movies and characters. God, this is so cool. I always wanted brothers. I'm glad we're doing this again, like all hanging out in Discord. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. It's pretty mint, in it? So you like make your own web fluid in your body? Uh, I'd rather not talk about no, this. No, no, I don't mean Are to- Are you teasing no, me? No, 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 he's not teasing you. It's just that we can't do that. So naturally we're curious as to how your web situation works, in it, mate? If it's personal, I don't want to pry, but I just no, think it's cool. I, uh, I, I wish I could tell you, but it's like, I don't do it. Like, I don't do breathing. Like, breathing just happens. Whoa, so can I ask something? When you think it, it just webs, you know what I mean? That's a good way to put because it. Because if I press, I have to have a mechanism. Does it come out of your wrists or- does it come out of anywhere else? Only only the wrist. That's so cool, man. Like, I want to see the holes. Oh my god, oh my god. It's like I was actually in the movie with them. Holy ice cream. That was so, so, so cool. Damn, will y'all niggas cool it? I mean, yeah, it was pretty dope, but shit, I'm going to put Spider-Man No Way Home into the god tier. Across the Spider-Verse is next, and thankfully Tom Holland isn't in this movie to ruin the universe again. Yeah, when Tom Holland's Spider-Man messed up Doctor Strange's spell six times, it not only messed up his own universe, it also messed up ours too. Wait a second, is that why all these dead presidents like George Washington and Abraham Lincoln are in our server all of a sudden? Yeah. Yeah, it's actually the reason why all of this is happening in our timeline and universe right now. Oh my god, it's the Discord multiverse of madness. Oh. My bad for tampering with the stability of space-time, mates. I won't do it again. Whoa, that's kind of cool how this Discord universe was created because of you, Peter Warren. Alright, can we just finish this damn tier list already? I just watched Across the Spider-Verse with Mary Jane and May Day the other night ago and we all enjoyed it. And oh, we won't spoil it, by the way, to anyone who hasn't seen it yet. Iron Man died! Shut your bloody mouth, you wanker. Leave Tony's name out of your mouth, you plunker. I love the soundtrack in this movie. The animations and colors were even better in this movie compared to the first one. The story was more serious and stakes were higher in this movie too. The Spot was a very unique villain and made the fighting sequences super cool to watch. The only thing I hated about the film was how it left off with a crazy cliffhanger and I wanted more. Ah, same here, man. And seeing all of our spider brothers and sisters in the movie was so cool. I want to meet all of them really badly. Overall, it was a great sequel and had a very heartfelt story with the characters. It's a movie you need to watch more than once, and overall, it's a god-tier movie. Wow, that's the whole tier list. It was fun hanging out again, mates. We should do this some other time once more again. Yeah, we should definitely chill more. You guys have my number in Discord. I'll invite you guys to my own Discord server so we can chill and play some games like Valorant, COD, GTA 5, Minecraft, and Apex Legends when we're in our own separate universes. You know, I guess one person can make a difference.